recently Vox.com um, did an article where uh, one of their writers, Timothy Lee, uh, talked about how you know he was he was buying two thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin, and and you know treating it as an investment. He wanted to buy it to see if the price went up after he bought it, make some money off of it. But then they reversed their position. The editor of Vox dot com, Ezra Klein, uh, changed his mind and told Tim Lee to uh, sell sell his two thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin because you know it's they think it's 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 unethical you know they they see it as like a like a stock that you're like you're invested in a, in a company and if you're invested in the idea of seeing this thing become more valuable then your coverage of the news will be slanted that way and you know af after that happened and i read those articles and and had some discussions on twitter about it um I'm I'm revising my position a little bit uh, fr from my article that I wrote uh, last week about this, and I I think that yeah if if someone does ha have two thousand dollars in fiat and they buy you know four bitcoins or you know e even even more then I do think that that can possibly distort their reporting depending on the person different people have different principles right. But, you know, some people that might distort their thinking and cause them to maybe write a couple more Bitcoin articles than they would normally write, you know, or maybe maybe cover just the good things going on in Bitcoin and not the bad things. Um, like my my main position was that if you treat it as a currency and not an investment, if you just transact in it, if you sell stuff for Bitcoin, either products or services or work that you do, then you don't really see it as a as um as an investment you don't you aren't biased towards it cuz you're just using it as money people aren't biased towards the dollar just cuz they use dollars they, it's just it's just money for them it's just transacting value but yeah if I, I i do i think now that for some people especially you know people who are focused on making money all the time you know uh they it, it can it can color their reporting a little bit especially if they normally report on just generalized uh technology news like we're 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 a special case in in the you know in the bitcoin news world because all we talk about is cryptocurrencies pretty much and that's what coin brief is that's what all these you know coin desk and, and all these people uh mainly talk about cryptocurrencies so like it's it's hard for us to be biased in favor to, for people to claim that we're biased in favor of cryptocurrencies, well, because we cover them. It doesn't matter if we're biased in favor of them or not. We we cover them all the time. But, you know, it's I at the end of the day, I think that every news outlet has to make their own choices on this call, uh, make their own calls about whether they want their journalists investing large amounts of money into cryptocurrencies. Like, personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even invest two thousand dollars into Bitcoin right now. There's problems that I that I see with it. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't plop two thousand dollars down on Bitcoin right now. I enjoy getting paid in it because um, it's it's quick and efficient, and I can sell for dollars if I want to. But like I wouldn't invest in it right now. Um, but for people who do do that, you know, it's 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 up to those individual news organizations to like allow that or not. And another point is like for these writers who like maybe not necessarily want to be restricted in what they can invest in or what they can buy or not like maybe just don't tell your editor that you're that you're buying bitcoin you know just it's you're allowed to keep that private and you know it's it's kind of it's a wild wild west right now uh in terms of journalism to see like what what people can uh buy and, and invest in cuz Bitcoin's a gray area. It's not a company. It's a decentralized network. It's a decentralized platform for currency. And uh I don't know. What what do you what do you think? Well, I have I have two issues with this uh Vox situation. Um one, I actually I read the article from Tim Lee that said, um, you know, I'm investing in Bitcoin now and you know, the editor is letting me. Uh he he wrote the article talking about, you know, the ethics of owning Bitcoin and writing about it, uh, you know, the, the journalistic ethics. And then, but then he went on, like, 
the entire second half of his article is like why Bitcoin is such a good investment. Um, uh, you know, so, so he, <laughs> blatant. But he was like, is is Bitcoin a good investment or not? You know, like I'm gonna list some pros and cons below, and it was like all like all these you know good things about Bitcoin, like fast, easy, efficient. Uh, you know, like um, you know, super valuable. And then so yeah, I could I could see he kind of like dug himself into a hole as soon as he got the go ahead. So I can see kind of shot editor's... himself in the foot right yeah. after he got permission. Yeah, I I can see you. I can see the editor's point of view, but one. He also could have been a better editor, you know. He could have read the article and been like, "Look, you're obviously taking a bi- a pro Bitcoin bias. You need to change this." Um, but then also, uh, he, the editor also, or I should say, the website in general, um, made Tim Lee put his existing invest his existing wealth into Bitcoin. He put two thousand dollars of his own money into Bitcoin, um, and this. You know, this kind of brings me to my position. I think I'm, you know, somewhat of an exceptionally rare case in the Bitcoin economy because I've never bought a single, um, one single Bitcoin, like of any, any amount, like not even like .001. I've never bought any Bitcoins at all. Um, all the Bitcoin I own has come from working, uh, writing for Bitcoin news websites. Um... Yeah, and I have I have no desire to try to um, sway readers in one direction or another because I have nothing to lose because I've not like I didn't put any of my existing wealth into it. Right. Um, so if Bitcoin dies tomorrow, the only thing I've lost is time. Hmm. Uh, you know, and, and I enjoy, and I enjoy doing this, so it's not really a big you know loss to me because I've still had all that fun. So you know. In, instead of instead of forcing Tim Lee to put two thousand dollars of his own money in Bitcoin, why why didn't Vox just say like, okay, you know, we're gonna pay like five percent of your salary or you know, like five percent of the views you get or however he gets paid for his articles in Bitcoin, and you can experiment with it like that. You're not and you're not gonna lose anything if the Bitcoin price goes down because you're not investing any of your wealth in it. Um, yeah. you know, they they could have done that. And then there would be like literally essentially no incentive to try to, you know, pump Bitcoin or like skew his, the reports in any way. Um, yeah. I, yeah, I think I think Vox went, around, went about this like completely like just in a terrible way. You yeah, know, like they, I like I like your editor, your point about editing the article like that's the editor's job, isn't it? To read over the article, make sure that everything makes sense that it's, you know, decent quality and that if it strikes them as too biased in favor of Bitcoin or whatever, then tell them to change it. Like, uh, yeah, that, that, that's, that's a great point, actually. Like, even if people are biased, it's the editor's job to take that bias out of the articles if it's not supposed to be there, you know? Yeah, like, the, the editor is, is supposed to, you know, uphold the integrity of the website. Because you you have all these writers, um, of, they're you know they're individual human beings. Of course, they're going to have their own opinions that are you know like not not tied to the, the company or news. the website yeah. or whatever they work for. So, it, you know, it, yeah, it's the editor's job to make sure that the personal opinions of the writers don't uh, you know diminish the integrity of the website company or whatever. You know, Dustin, he, he's the editor for CoinBrief. He's, you know, there have been several occasions where he's, well, like, looked over my articles and he's like, look, you know, this is, you know, too much speculation, too much conjecture. You're being way too aggressive. Like, you need to change this. Like, you know, okay, it's his website. You know, he's he's paying me. I have to pay, play by his rules. So, yeah, yeah you know, you, you could always just be a better editor. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. Instead of, like, you, instead of trying to engineer, like, engineer neutrality out of your writers right they're trying to make sure that the writers are as unbiased as 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 humanly possible will like take that to to the extreme right and like okay get rid of your bitcoin get rid of your dollars because you might be in favor of the u.s economy too much (laughs) get rid of your macbook because you might be in favor of apple too much (laughs) You know, get get rid of your uh, iPhone because you'll be in favor of Apple. Get rid of your if you have an Android, get rid of that too because you might like Google too much. 
right? So, I mean, we've got to use these tools. We have these great tools to help us uh, help us transact in the economy better and be more productive in ways that were never possible before the 21st century and, like, let people use their tools. Computers are useful. The Internet's useful. Bitcoin is useful. Uh, let people use it. And if they want to buy some of it, too, let them. It's a learning experience. How are they going to learn about it if they don't get some and start transacting with it? So, I don't know. You know People got to let, editors got to let their writers have a little bit more freedom, I think. You know, what really, what really got me about this was, um, you know, well, one, it was like a matter of hours. They, they reversed their decision, like, within a few hours after the original article got published. And also, what really got me was that they made him sell his Bitcoins. He put $2,000 in the Bitcoins. They made him sell all of that. And they wouldn't, they're not even going to let him keep any profit he makes from it. He has to donate Donated, any yeah. profit he makes to charity. You know, <laughs> so he doesn't even have any say over what he does with the returns he got from the investment that he made from his own wealth. Yeah. Well, it, to be fair, that, he probably didn't make really anything off of it anyway. I mean, the Bitcoin prices has been either yeah, it's, going it's down true. slightly or been steady at 475 or so for the past few days. So if anything, yeah. you might have lost a little bit on it. Yeah, for for the past week it's been, you know, it's been hovering between like 470, 490. Um So yeah, if you bought the bitcoins like yesterday, uh I think yesterday it was like around 7 or I mean 490 for, you know, maybe a few hours. So yeah, he probably lost money. Yeah. Uh, and then he gets but, dollars but in he, return again. Like, like why not yeah. let him buy something on Overstock, you know? If yeah, he's going to get rid of him anyway, buy something cool with it. Yeah, I, th I think Vox really messed up. Uh, you know, hopefully hopefully they'll get enough flack for it and they'll kind of like, maybe they'll at least let him keep the dude's profit, let the dude keep his profit. Yeah. But, you know, my, my, my overall like perspective on this so far right, right now is just uh, news websites got to make their own calls and you know tim lee he's a free individual if he wanted to he can go work for someone else and make bitcoin somewhere else he can keep his investments private if he wants to and like i made this point on twitter he can he can go on uh jobs for bitcoin subreddit and make some money on there and doesn't have to invest any of his personal wealth in, wealth into it you know it's People got to think outside the box, basically. Think outside the box and, and look at ways where you can spread your tentacles all over the place and make Bitcoins. Yeah, this is, we are talking about Bitcoins here, you know. If you, you know, if you have, if you have the, the USD mindset going into Bitcoins, you're, you're not going to get very far. You have to think outside the box because Bitcoin is outside of the box. Oh, yeah. Very far outside the box.